Hello again and welcome. I was greeted this morning with the channel reaching a new milestone. We now have 20,000 of you following this channel. Normally I wouldn't make a big deal out of it other than to say thank you for joining me. But a while ago I did post that if we did reach 20,000 I would run another multimeter. So I'm going to allow you viewers to pick which one we've run. I have a small list already started. I'll post a link to that in the description. Again, I want to be clear, I'm not opposed to running any meter, assuming that I can get it. One of the meters that I'd propose that we look at is the Gaussian Metrowatt Ultra. Again, this is the meter that had a lot of issues with magnetic susceptibility. It was also very sensitive to any kind of a static field. And the way that I had addressed that is I made this netic shield. This goes inside of the meter, and we also added some shielding around the face of the meter. The last meter we looked at was this Unity. This is the UT61E+, and you may remember that I burned it up pretty much as soon as I got it. On the back of the box, they list the features, and for the UT61E+, you can see that they've rated the frequency counter to work up to 220 megahertz. So I actually tried to do that, and we smoked the PTCs and a few other parts. So I had gone ahead and repaired the meter, but there was always that question on how well the meter would have handled those transients had it not been modified. One of the other meters that I had looked at a long time ago, this is the Hioki DT4252. Actually, when I was looking at the Bryman BM869S, I was looking at the high-end Hioki meter as well. I ended up going with this because it was quite a bit cheaper, and it had some features like the dual thermal couple inputs that I wanted. But the last time we ran a poll like this, that Hioki was one of the contenders. If you have a meter that you'd like to see ran and it's not in the list, feel free to add it to the comments below and we'll add it. And then I'll start the poll maybe in a week or two. So if you're not already a member of the EV blog, go ahead and join and you can make your vote count. So again, I'd like to thank all of you who've subscribed to my channel. Again, I don't have a Patreon or anything like that. I don't use this channel to try to create any sort of income. Its only purpose is really just for entertainment and share a little bit about my own hobbies. Well, that's all for now. Till the next video, we'll see you then.